Hello everyone, it's Tyler with Diesel Laptops again. We are hooked up to a 2009 Volvo with a D13 engine. So we're going to go through a little bit and show you what it can do on this thing. So first of all, let's go through the... We're already connected. I already went through and said, hey, well, let's go up to the Volvo ECM and the diagnosis side of it. So here we go. It's We have uh, 62 different parameters that are being shown. I'll scroll through the list here real quick so you can see. Those weights just mean, hey, I'm pinging the sensor. I'm trying to find out what my value should be. You just got to give it a second, and then they'll start populating in there. The dashboard, you'll have anywhere from one to four different dashboards. And what this does is this is taking all those parameters that you just saw and putting them in a graphical representation so it's a little bit easier to see. Uh, if they're not reading, they say not enabled, or that just means that sensor doesn't exist in this particular truck. Faults, here we have our fault code information. So we have one code that's active for coolant level. We actually have a, uh, this truck right now, the technician's working on it. He has the coolant drained, so we should have an active code. And this one up here is yellow, but it says MEM. That is an inactive code. So if I click on that, I have a couple buttons that highlight on the right-hand side over here. The first one, this is freeze frame. So if I click freeze frame, what this is going to do is this is going to tell me when these codes occurred. So it gives me some good information uh, based on when the codes occurred and what values I'm looking at. Vehicle speed, engine load, engine pressures, uh, the first and last time they occurred, that type of information. Let's go back. There's another one here as well. It's the question mark with the bubble around it. So I click on that and it's going to say, hey, when you got these FMIs, it's these issues. When you have this information, it's that. We also have our DTC solutions and we have a ton of service manuals on here to help troubleshoot any and every code that you run across. ECU info is the information here where it'll show you what's going on with software levels, manufacturing date, etc. Activations are the tests you can run. So here we got after treatment systems, compression tests, cylinder balancing, delete errors, all kinds of commands that you can run on this particular vehicle. The settings tab is going to have some more information in here. Uh, one of the big ones that people always ask for are DPF regenerations, injector coding, uh, after treatment injector adaptation. Again, if I hit the little sign over here, it'll tell me when to or why you would want to run this command or what it does, which is great. I go back. Uh, I can tell you from experience that when you replace a DPF filter or have one cleaned off the truck, you need to run a soot index adaptation, soot rate adaptation, and then you can do your DPF successfully, which will then clear all the codes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video because I'm going to go connect to the other ECU on this truck. So just hold on one second, and we'll connect right back. All right, welcome back, everyone. We're now connected to the special parameterization section of the ECU. So again, this ECU here is going to show me a couple different things, some more parameters that I can view as I go down the list here. I can go over to the ECU Info tab, and I see some more information as well. And the Settings tab, this is where you're going to be able to change a lot of your parameters. So you know, enable automatic speed regeneration, all kinds of commands. I'll scroll through the list here. Here's some injector calibration commands you can do as well. Then we go through the list, uh, speed limit settings, and all, just all kinds of parameters you might want to change. So again, I'm going to pause it again one more time because I am now going to go do a system scan where it's going to go ping the truck for every possible computer and then show us what we can connect to so we can look at some of the other computers on this truck. So just hang on for one split second again. Again, welcome back everyone. So what we've done now is we've done an entire system scan. So it does take a couple minutes because what it does is it goes out there and it basically looks on the truck for every possible ECU. And if you know anything about Volvos, you know they have a computer for just about everything, including their air conditioning, airbag, uh, cabin control, radio, uh, just all kinds of stuff. So it looks like we have all kinds of things here. Distance control, computer, EBS. Uh, we already did the vehicle adjustment one. The ECU external lights, external lights. The red X's means, hey, I don't see that system on this truck, and that's perfectly fine. This particular truck just doesn't have those particular systems. So if I wanted to see what DTCs were actually can actually found, I can click this button here, and it'll actually give me a little bit of information and say, hey, by the way, there's your code information on those particular ones. All right, we're going to actually go check one of these out. So let's go look at, oh boy, let's see. Um, let's go look at this. This one's got a code on it. So let's go check this one out. And as you can see, things are popping up on my screen here. Get in my way. But let's just go check this ECU 
external light computer and just see what exactly this is and what exactly it does. So external lamp control. I'm thinking it's got something to do, I'm assuming, with all the lights on the vehicle, both maybe interior and external, although it says external lamp control. So, but we will see. And there's some codes in there, which is good. I always help when we're doing demonstrations like this to be able to show you some live data. So the way the Texas system works is the box that's connected to the truck is actually quite beefy. And it's actually its own little computer. It has a hard drive in there. It's got storage. It's got a processor and all the things you'd find in any other computer just in a small compact form. So the reason they do that is a couple reasons. One, when they do road trips, you can actually leave your TXT box connected to the truck, take your laptop away, and let the guy go drive around forever. And when it comes back, you can plug it into the laptop, and boom, you got all your trip report data and all your diagnostic information from that road trip. The other thing it does is it stores all the files that connect to the vehicles on the computer, and then it transfers them to the TXT box each time. So that's what you saw that transferring file command there. So right away, it says, hey, you have an inactive code for the SAEJ1939 data bus. I can double click it, and I'm going to get some SID information in here. Hit the confirm button, and I can hit that button as well. And it's going to say, hey, here's the things you need to go look at. We also have all this information in our DTC solutions, plus we have the service manuals as well. So let's see what else we can do here. Parameters, uh, looks like wiper blades moving. Uh, windscreen, wiper, flick switch, uh, right turn indicators, all kinds of things that we can do on here as well. And I just turned the left blinker on so you can see it go on. I'll turn it off and you'll see it go off here in a second. So it'll give you all your status position of your switches. Faults we already did. ECU info is always kind of boring, giving us some software levels and whatnot. Activations. It looks like these are some other commands we can run. So there's the light switch command. Let's hit start. Confirm to continue. It says wait, uh, switch position on or off. Okay, so I can manually run the switches without hitting the buttons on the dash for the computer. So I'll hit cancel. We don't actually need to go through and start running a bunch of commands here. So that was the overview on a 2009 Volvo with a D13 engine. Thank you for watching.